Um, today I'm going to show you how to sketch and um, shade um, a Marvel character um, in a chibi style. You will need a pencil to sketch. Make sure it is well sharpened. I recommend using 2B or a regular pencil and uh, a set of color pencil so that you can color um, the character when you're done sketching. Let's go ahead and start the sketch with a circle. The width of the circle will be about one third of the width of your page. Let me make the, um, the circle darker. Whenever you sketch, start the sketch really real life. Once you have the circle, draw a horizontal line to divide the circle into two even parts and make sure the horizontal line is parallel to the top and the bottom edges of your page. You can use the ruler if you would like. Then divide the diameter inside the circle into two even parts. Use your pencil and your thumb. Measure the half right of the diameter and compare to the half left. Draw a vertical line. Divide all the radius into four even parts. Try to make all the sections equal to each other. Draw a horizontal line that passes the second mark at the bottom radius. Draw two vertical lines that pass the first and the third marks on the left radius. On the first mark at the bottom radius, draw a little curve. This curve will be curved to the bottom. On the corner of the first horizontal line and the first vertical line, draw a curve which is pointing to the top left. Extend the line to the bottom right. When you pass the second vertical line, turn the line to the bottom. Do the same to the right side. You will need to draw an angle. Draw a curve at the angle of um, the first horizontal line and the last vertical line. Extend the line to the bottom left. When you reach the fourth vertical line, slide the line to the bottom left. Extend the line to the bottom left. Stop when you reach the second horizontal line. Turn the line to the top right, and when you pass the second vertical line, use curve line to complete the eye shape. Do the same to the right. Make a mark on the circular line, which is under the first horizontal line. Draw a curve. Extend the line to the bottom right. Do the same to the right. Make a mark and the circular line, which is under the first horizontal line, and draw an angle. We need to make sure that the level of the two draw a horizontal line that passes the third mark at the bottom radius. Try to connect the angle to that horizontal line. At the bottom of the circle, draw a horizontal line. When you pass the second vertical line, turn the line to the top left when you pass the fourth vertical line turn the line to the top right so when you draw the cheeks from the intersection between the circle and the first uh, and the first horizontal line draw a little curve that is slightly curved to the left I mean toward the right when you are about to reach the second horizontal line, reverse the curve. Uh, reverse the curve, extend the curve to the bottom right and make it touch the left side of the chin. From the third mark on the top radius, draw a curve that is curved to the bottom, like this. Use 1 and 2 curves. 
connect the intersection between the circle and the second vertical line to the left side of the curve and connect the intersection between the fourth vertical line and the circular line to the right side of the curve. Extend the curve on the left side of the, of the cheek to the top right when you reach the first vertical line. Draw a curve that is curved to the left, slide to the top. Do the same to the right. Extend the curve on the right side of the cheek to the top. When you reach the last vertical line, turn the line to the top right. Oh, by the way, use curve line outline the top of the mask. And for the top of the helmet, duplicate one fourth of a radius to the top and draw a curve. This curve will be curved to the top. Stop when you pass the first and the last vertical lines. Make sure the top of the head is router. From the intersection between the circle and the first horizontal line, draw one and two curves. The first curve will be curved to the left, slide to the top left. The second curve will be curved to the right and slide to the top right. And then connect those curves to the top of the helmet. For the ears, draw one and two curves like this. Throughout the body, we're going to duplicate a circle to the bottom. Duplicate a circle to the bottom of the circle. Make a mark. And draw a horizontal line. Divide the space between the circle and the last horizontal line into two parts. Use your pencil, check, check, make sure two lanes are in the same size. And draw another horizontal line that passes the mark we just made. You can extend the vertical lines to the bottom, so it will help us align the hands, the feet, more accurate. Well, um, draw a circle that passes the first and the second vertical lines. At the bottom left right here, draw a circle. For the hand, the circle of the hand will be smaller than the circle for the shoulder. When you draw the hand from the first vertical line, draw a little curve, which is curved to the top for the muscle at the bottom of the thumb. Draw a curve, which is curved to the top, and this curve will be shorter than the previous curve for the top of the thumb. Draw a curve that is curved to the right as you make the light go to the bottom, make the light lightly curved to the top a little bit. So now we have one finger. At the top right of the circle, draw one curve. The left side of the curve will be rounder than the right side. When you draw the, um, the middle finger, Start from the outline at the left side of the index finger and draw another angle. Make sure it go the angle goes inside the circle. Do the same to other finger. At the bottom draw a diagonal line and use curve line to complete the shape of the hand 
So we're gonna make the left side flat and same to the right. And at the center of the palm, there will be a hole. This will be the one to help him fly and attack. At the right side to draw the chest. From the bottom right of the cheek, construct a curve, which is curved to the right. Add a little curve that is curved to the bottom, and another curve for the back of Iron Man. Use eraser, erase the half left of the right circle so you can feel the shape of the shoulder. Draw one and two diagonal lines, I mean two vertical lines for the waist. Draw a curve which is slightly curved to the bottom right. Draw a circle that passes the third and the fourth vertical lines. Now we have the center for the chest. Draw one and two curves for the left on the right side of the foot. Draw another curve for the top of the foot. And then near the, the second vertical line, draw a shape like this for the knee. Use two curves. Draw the lower line. From one, two, three, the third horizontal line. Draw a curve. This curve will touch the third vertical line. Slide to the bottom left. Just slide the lower leg. Make sure the upper leg is wide. Make the top wide and the bottom narrow. Use the curve to draw the little butt. From the intersection between the the upper leg or the thigh and the third vertical line. Draw a little curve for the base. Draw one and two curves like this. For the right um, leg, we will make sure that it's higher, it's in the high level than the left leg. You can draw a horizontal line, which is above the last horizontal line like this. Start one and two diagonal lines. Then draw a little curve that is curved to the top. So now we have the foot. Draw a little shape like this, but draw only half of them, which means this shape right here will be half skinnier than this shape. Draw the lower leg first. Make sure the top of the lower leg is wide, narrow at the bottom. Then draw the upper leg. Use curve lines, no straight line. At the right side, draw a curve for the lower leg. Draw an angle like this for the lower arm. About so this will be the, the upper arm and this will be the lower arm. Draw a circular line for the palm. Draw a curve inside the circular line. At the top right of the um, of the thumb, draw a curve like this. Inside, draw a little curve like this, and use curve wise. Divide that shape into four even parts. We're gonna reshape the belly a little bit. And when you have all the guidelines down, use eraser, erase the guidelines.
two colors, red and brown. So do the same to the other um, object. Make sure that you outline the object first before you shade. We're gonna make um, the foot red, the leg red, but the knee will be yellow. When you're done, use brown to outline the ear and the eye first. Use brown, shade the cast shadow under the foot. Use yellow, shade the knee, shade the arm, the ear. Um, make sure that you outline the knee and then the eye and then use yellow straight from the right to the left um, Keep some white spot on the left side so that it will make the, uh, the face the mask brighter at the left So that's all about the lesson for today, and I hope you found this lesson helpfully enjoyable So um, see you next time. Bye. Bye